Hey guys and girls, what's up? It's Jesse Daly and this is my little crazy cat who represents being nice and his name is Venice Vegas. Guys and girls, thank you so much for being back here on my channel on Daily Planet. I always love having you here. Today we're gonna talk about five simple and actionable steps to help you achieve your goal and your dream. I've got a little cheat sheet to help me stay focused and on track, so we're gonna jump right in. Just to preface all of this, the five ideas on this list are techniques that I have learned and implemented in my own life that have helped me to stay on track to achieve some of my own goals, so I hope they will work for you as well. Number one, pick one thing at a time and be very specific. If you're like me, you have lots of goals. You want to do, do it all, right? You want to achieve lots of things in your life, and that is fantastic. We need to aspire and dream big. That being said, it is critical to pick one thing at a time to focus on. Otherwise, we kind of end up getting scatterbrained and getting all over the place, and it's not gonna help you achieve your goal per se as one thing. So being as specific and identifying your one goal at a time is really important. A book I often recommend is called The One Thing, and it's by Gary Keller. This book will help you to stay on track with your one thing. It doesn't mean that you know you can't have a million things you want to accomplish. Just take one at a time. There's been studies that have shown that people that multitask, they perform worse than people who strictly do one task at a time. So implement that in your goal planning. Number two is to set a date. This is so important. Setting a date and then working backwards towards your goal is going to make a tremendous difference in your life. What I mean by that is, let's pick six months from today. If you write that down and you know by six months, you convince yourself that in six months, your goal is going to be accomplished, guess what? You can then begin to work backwards to actually achieve that goal. Does it mean that you're going to have the goal completed on the six month day and hour? Well, maybe not, maybe, but either way, you're gonna be a lot closer to achieving that goal than you would be if you didn't set a date to have it be done. Otherwise, it's kind of like, oh, well, I'll get to it when I get to it. You know, it's just an indefinite or never-ending time frame. Making a time frame is going to be very helpful for all of you to set your goals. Number three is to do one thing per day towards your goal. Some of us have full-time jobs that we're working on that may just be, you know, jobs that are helping to have income rather than our passion projects, right? As an example, while I was pursuing an acting career, I was working multiple jobs, so I didn't have the luxury of time to be focusing every single minute of every single day on the steps that I needed to take to become an actor. There's a lot that goes into that because I was working on my other jobs and my schedule and everything. Doing simply one thing per day, if you do it seven days a week, guess what? You've got seven things done towards your goal every single week. Even if it's a minor task, do one thing per day and you're gonna see a big difference. Number four, again, I've got my little cheat sheet here. <laughs> Surround yourselves with positive and motivational people. You may be the most positive person that you know, but no matter how hard we try in life to stay motivated and stay positive, there are days that are, are tough, right? As we all know, 2020 was really tough and it's, you know, it's hard to stay motivated sometimes. So if you're around people a lot that kind of look at the glass half empty all the time, even if you try as absolute hard as you can to bubble yourself off, you know, figuratively bubble yourself off from negative energy, it's gonna affect you and impact you. So try to surround yourself with friends and people who are like-minded and motivational and don't break you down that lift you up when you talk about your goals and your dreams. Your friends and your family, the people you wanna have in your life should support you all the way. And by the way, Bennis and I support you all the way. So surround yourself with motivational people. Number five here, guys and girls, is one of the most important things I've ever done in my life when it comes to attaining a goal. And that is creating a vision board. This can be a digital or a physical 
board where you place pictures, words, images, you write your plans on this board and keep it in your line of vision. I've had vision boards on my phone background, my computer background, on my wall. It is incredible how inspiring a vision board can be. Now, there are lots of different people that will tell you that a vision board can actually like manifest things into your life. Well, whether that's true or not, what it has done for me is this. As an example, if you put a picture of a microphone, if you're into singing, well, when you look at that microphone, every time you see it, your brain is gonna think, okay, sing, microphone. It's gonna be at the, the forefront of your brain, right? So subconsciously and consciously, you're going to gravitate towards what is on your to-do list. Then you end up really motivating yourself to making it happen. So it's almost like really a vision board is a visual to-do list and it is incredibly powerful. So I would encourage all of you to check it out. There's an app called Wishboard and it's available on the Apple Store. I'm not sure about Android, but that is an app that I use and it is very helpful. And just as a bonus tip, guys, girls, before we go, just go with the tide instead of against it when you're working towards your goals. Life happens, right? Plans change. So don't fight and fight and fight if something is pulling you in a different direction. Sometimes if there is something that is pulling you towards another goal, go with it. It might just be where your heart and your life should be. Guys and girls, Bennis and I love you very much and keep believing in yourselves. Set your goals in motion, no matter how lofty they may be. If you take one step at a time, you're gonna get there. If you found this information useful, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know when we post new videos here on Daily Planet, and we'll see you soon.